Pisces, this is your week ahead tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries Tarot. Um, this is a message for Pisces Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. It's an intuitive energy reading, so please take it how and where it resonates in your life. It is your reading, so it's what how it matters to you, and feel free to comment below on exactly how you're, you're feeling these energies. If you want the full astrology breakdown, I have a second YouTube channel called Astrology Motivation. Please check out your weekly astrology forecast. Every single week I do a full in-depth breakdown. So for those of you who are looking for the details, the specifics, and the right now, check that out and subscribe over there too. This reading is timeless. It comes to you when it's meant to, but there's a new one that comes out every single week. So please be sure to subscribe to this channel and help us grow over here on Pi Pisces Tarot. Um, oh, for those of you who are asking, I do do personal readings. All of that information is over on my website, www.bornwithoutboundariestarot.com. Um, you can book schedule all just over there, only over there though. So don't let anybody else reach out to you. That's not a real thing. Um, and these hats. If you love them the way that I love them, you can absolutely buy these hats over on my website, www.bornwithoutboundariestarot.com. My goal, guys, is to sell a bunch of these. So please get them while they're hot. Get them for the summer. You can get them in black. You can get them in white, which you see here with your little Pisces symbol. And you can get them in black as well. This is with the Taurus, but they're available and black and white with the born without boundaries full spectrum so are they cute i just think they're amazing i love them i love them i love them i love them so let's get into this reading shall we um yeah so this is a complex week just so that you know and you don't want anybody out there to take it personally this is a week that really really is going to be busting everybody's balls we have defeat so that's front and center, which tells me that this week you're going to be dealing with a disappointment, something that just, it's, it's, it's over, something that's finished, but also it's not just over and finished, it's something that you feel, at least you interpret as, I lost, somebody else beat me out. So there is a sense of front and center. You could be feeling defeated in general this week, and that's giving us the general aura of your emotional state right now feeling defeated a lot of times guys that's just you your energy is depleted and you do and you will feel it i'm a cancerian this moon has been intense there is a lot of intense energy in the air so i have been feeling myself very very like tired so this could also be making you feel defeated like i just you can't get up i can't get out of bed of course if you're having long-term serious issues please 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 go get yourself therapeutic help medical help but um for right now if this is just what you've been feeling over the last couple of days it's the energy and what you're going to need is just to take care of yourself and allow yourself that time and that space take bubble baths take days of beauty this sense of it's not about vanity it's about self-care self-care is going to be really important this week this is could if this is the way that you've been feeling this could also reflect something that's actually happened something that you don't win you wanted it it mattered to you and it didn't happen and we're going to get into what that is going to entail because over here we have a little bit in the future a hanged man so what this tells these two cards tell me is because you may have lost out or missed out, maybe you didn't get the job, maybe somebody didn't call you, you know, it puts you into a rut of contemplation. It puts you into a state of, well, what do I do now? And maybe I have to rethink the way I'm going about this. Now, this may not be for your whole life, right? This may be, it's not going to be for the rest of your life, but that's not what I mean. I mean, this may not be in every area of your life. This could very well be just, you know, maybe you didn't get the job. So now you're like, well, what do I do, right? Maybe I need to go about getting a job in a different way or look about, look at what I'm doing 
um, differently and maybe look at my talents and skills and see what else am I capable of because it's saying because of this defeat your me mental state is being thrown into a, I need to go back in my cocoon and rethink things I need to rethink this and see it from a different perspective so I can like reevaluate the defeat and see what I can learn from it see what it's trying to tell me see what it's trying to teach me and I think that that is an exceptional energy for you guys this week I love that energy this for you guys this week I really do I think Saturn is very active in your energy this week since Saturn is in Pisces and that is it's almost making you very more more pragmatic more practical and say what can I learn from this and and how can I take these losses that I've experienced or this defeat that I've experienced and what is it teaching me what can I learn from I got to see this from a different point of view which is really hopeful and leads me to think this isn't depression this is okay I want to figure this out I want to do something with the lessons that I've been taught by the fact that maybe I keep losing or that I didn't get what I wanted here. What is this teaching me? I fucking love that energy for you guys this week. I wanted to pull these cards because these are very earth cards and there's a lot of earth energy interacting with your energy this week. So that once again beckons the defeat. This is interesting because it says there's balance that is to be struck in your life and it's going to be instigated or catalyzed by some attack or some some defeat and this both says some sort of a, attack i don't know if it's an attack on your character or it's it, it's you're on the outside and you're seeing an attack happen or just this defeat in general this this pugilistic these these butting heads with people this could absolutely be what ends up catalyzing your balance the balance that you need to get back into a sense of who you are and what you're capable of all of a sudden the energy is completely changed and i love the balls on you guys this week i love how you're gritting in grinding in and you're turning this loss into a win by saying what information can i dig has this dug up for me i love love that energy like i'm just saying way to go pisces so there is once again a disappointment here something usually disappointment is based on expectations right that sense of look but that sense of i lost this i wanted this i was looking here but also pisces it's saying you're acknowledging that there's still something over here there's still potential in the future that is left right if you contemplate it and see what you can do with it so there are like i would say this whatever scraps are left behind pick through them and see what you can find in them because there are definitely things that you can take from this and use to help bring yourself better or make your, in other words there are answers you're going to get answers this week and they're going to come from a place of disappointment but at least the answers are there. We have the King of Pentacles here, which could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo that you are working with or working for. This could, well, it says Virgo. Oh, but this also says opportunity. So it is taking things less personally and more practically that is actually going to open up energy for you. And look what we have. This could be a new job. I know that sounds unglamorous, but it's not because what it does is it opens the door to prosperity, which is something that you may need right now. There's a level of prosperity that 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 you kind of it's almost like you need the stability right now so even though something may seem less glamorous it's exactly the what you need to help you out if you're looking for jobs and you're looking for work you're absolutely going to do it you're actually going to find it this week and what this is saying is you need the slower pace you need that Virgo energy, which is that balancing opposite energy. You need to do things in a Virgo way, which is 
step-by-step, -step, pedantic, day-by-day, -day, seeing things in front of you, reacting to the resources that you have, you'll actually find so much more there. This could also imply writing or scheduling, maybe even doing administrative work. This sense of the norm and the regular is really going to help you out. This could, for some of you, also mean getting an education or deciding to enrich yourself with education and and lessons that you normally normally wouldn't but it's this energy that's going to give you a great deal of abundance this week um this could also mean for some of you meeting an earth sign especially a virgo somebody who is very logical rational very um pragmatic very responsible this is kind of that balance that you need right now that's going to give you oh my god it's like it's like a drink of water for the water of all water signs. You know, it's it's like you need the refreshing. You need the earth. You need the earth. That's sort of your drink of water is that's what's going to refresh you is that that opposite energy that you're just so craving. That's really what's good. So whether you're giving it to yourself by taking that step by step, taking that boring job that's just going to give you that sense of firm ground to help you kind of I don't know just 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 feel like your life isn't so out in the air right that's that's what you need right now there's a great deal of abundance that's happening here you could be working with somebody that is a female that's just very generous and just very abundant she's got a lot she's got an abundance of sense and practicality this could be I don't know female or male but this is very maternal energy and whoever this is in your life they're really just giving you everything that you need I, I know that sounds weird but not not so weird let's get into the moon card we got to have this moon card they're so important Pisces Pisces. Pisces. Oh no, the moon is here. Okay. Adjustments are required. Yeah. This uh, these adjustments by this opposite energy. That's what it's talking about. It's almost talking about maybe your other half, whatever has to balance you. And then we have a new romantic cycle begins and it's time to take action. So that is definitely leading us in the direction of this. So yes, partnership, because you have that Libra energy and you also have this sexual energy with Aries. So it could be being attracted to somebody or being turned on by somebody because they are so different than you, because they are so grounded, because they have their shit together. You know, that, that is the energy that you're actually craving. And then you have this energy of things are working out and you, you want to take action or this, this meeting somebody or this new opportunity, it could be for some of you, is what is helping you to, it's like you want it. You know you want it. And it, maybe it seems odd to you. But this, this, whatever this defeat is, it catalyzes you to start saying, okay, I'm done with the crap. I don't want to keep doing things the same way I've been doing them. I want something different. And that could mean for some of you becoming attracted to somebody that you were never attracted to before. But you're attracted now because you're realizing, oh my God, look at them in front of me, giving me everything that I need. Or teaching me the lessons that I need to learn in order to feel better about my life and who I am. This is really somebody coming into light now because they balance you in the wake of whatever this craziness is that you experienced in the beginning of this week, this sense of aha moment, right? That you're like, oh, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta take this. I gotta act on it because you know that it's actually going to be a wealth of balance for you and that's exactly what you need. This is a partnership. This is also a sense of you may need to take this opportunity in order to feel like you're striking a balance or that somebody in your life is going to decide to make a change in order to strike a balance in your lives. Um, it's, like, it's like the furthest thing from the obvious becomes so obvious this week. And so there's just this sense of grab it. 
When you see it, grab it. What is it? That's what I want to know. I know you're all thinking the same. What is it? Quote, unquote. What is it? Nine of Pentacles is here. It comes out as either, first of all, independence, also money and abundance or financial independence. That's what it is. Whatever is leading you toward financial independence is what the universe wants you to grab now. Also, <clears throat> the opportunity that's coming in to make money, even if it's not as amazing as you wanted it to be or it's not coming from the place that you wished it would, take it because that's the right one. That's the one God wants you to have right now, right? It could also be a person, in which case Virgo keeps coming up again and again and again. And it's saying this, this, this is a, this is the best one of the best opportunities of your life. We're gonna get deeper into this. I will I will talk you through it step by step. The link to the extended reading is down below in the description box. It's pinned to the top of the comment section. I will see you guys there. Love you.